Hi students, welcome to Shiju's educational channel. Today we are going to discuss the previous year questions of S2 complementary mathematics. We will be discussing the questions from differentiation of hyperbolic functions. So let's start. First problem, find dy by dx. y equal to cos h cube 3x. Find dy by dx. y equal to cos h cube 3x. Given that y is equal to cos h cube 3x. We have to find dy by dx. We know that d by dx of cos hx is equal to sin hx. And also we know that cos h cube x is equal to 1 by 4 cos h 3x plus 3 cos hx. Okay. Here we have to find dy by dx given that y equal to cos h cube 3x. Okay. Then we write d by dx of here y is cos h cube 3x okay that is equal to we write d by dx of here cos h cube x is 1 by 4 cos h 3x plus 3 cos hx so we write cos h cube 3x that is we write 1 by 4 cos h here 3x here x is 3x so we write 9x okay 9x plus 3 cos hx that is here x is 3x so we write 3x okay equal to we write d by dx of multiply 1 by 4 into cos h9x 1 by 4 cos h9x plus 1 by 4 into 3 that is 3 by 4 cos h3x okay then that is equal to we write, we take 1 by 4 outside, that is we write 1 by 4 d by dx of cos h9x, cos h9x, okay. Then plus, next we take 3 by 4 outside, that is we write 3 by 4 d by dx of this, that is cos h3x, okay. That is equal to we write 1 by 4 into d by dx of cos h9x. We know that d by dx of cos hx is equal to sin hx. So we write here uh, d by dx of cos hx is sin hx. So here uh, d by dx of cos h9x is sin h9x. Using chain rule we write d by dx of 9x. Okay. Then plus here 3 by 4. We write 3 by 4 into d by dx of cos h3x. We know that d by dx of cos hx is sin hx. So we write here sin h3x. Then into using chain rule we write d by dx of 3x. Okay. This is equal to we write 1 by 4 into sin h9x into d by dx of 9x is 9. Okay. Plus here 3 by 4 into sin h3x, okay, into d by dx of 3x is 3. That is equal to, we write here 9 by 4 sin h9x, okay, plus here 9 by 4, 3 into 3, 9 by 4 into sin h3x. Taking 9 by 4 outside, we get 9 by 4 into sin h 9x plus sin h 3x. Therefore, we get d by dx of cos h cube 3x is equal to 9 by 4 into sin h 9x plus sin h 3x. Clear? Next question, find dy by dt. Given that y equal to tan h root 1 plus t square. y is equal to tan h root 1 plus t square. Okay. We know that d by dx of tan hx is equal to sec h square x. And d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. Okay. Then we write d by dt of here y is tan h root of. 1 plus t square equal to we know that d by dx of tan hx is sec h square x. So 
So d by dt of tan h root of 1 plus t square is sec h square. Here x is root of 1 plus t square. Okay. Then into d by dt of using chain rule we write d by dt of root of 1 plus t square. Root of 1 plus t square. Okay. That is equal to we write sec h square root of 1 plus t square into here d by dt of root of 1 plus t square. We know that d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. Using this we write here 1 by 2 root 1 plus t square into again we use chain rule that is d by dt of 1 plus t square. Okay. That is equal to we write seek h square root of 1 plus t square into 1 by 2 root 1 plus t square into here derivative of 1 plus t square. One, uh, derivative of 1 is 0. Uh, derivative of t square is 2t. Okay. Then 2, 2 get cancelled. We get here t divided by root of 1 plus t square into seek h square root of 1 plus t square. Now we get d by dt of tan h root of 1 plus t square is equal to t divided by root of 1 plus t square into seek h square root of 1 plus t square. Next problem find dy by dx y equal to cot h 5x. Find dy by dx y equal to cot h 5x. Here given that y is equal to cot h 5x we have to find dy by dx. Okay we know that d by dx of cot hx is equal to minus cosec h square x. Using this we write here d by dx of y here is cot h 5x. Okay that is equal to we write here d by dx of cot hx is minus cosec h square x. So we write here minus cosec h square. Here x is 5x. So we write here 5x into using chain rule we write d by dx of 5x. Okay. That is equal to we write minus cosec h square 5x. Okay. 5x into d by dx of 5x is 5. That is we write minus 5 cosec h square 5x. Clear? Next problem find dy by dx given that y equal to log sine hx. Log sine hx. We know that d by dx of log x is equal to 1 by x and d by dx of sine hx is equal to cos hx. Using this we write d by dx of here y log sine hx okay log sine hx that is equal to we write we know that d by dx of log x is 1 by x okay that is here x is sine hx so we write here 1 by sine hx then into using chain rule we write d by dx of sine hx okay that is equal to we write 1 by sine hx into d by dx of sine hx we know that it is cos hx so we write here cos hx that is we get cos hx divided by sine hx we know that cos hx divided by sine hx is cot hx that is we write cot hx clear problem find dy by dx given that y is equal to 6 sin h x by 3. y is equal to 6 sin h x by 3. Here we have to find dy by dx. We know that d by dx of sin h x is equal to cos h x. Okay using this we write here d by dx of y here is 6 sin h x by 3. Okay. 6 into d by dx of sin h x by 3. Okay. 
that is equal to v right 6 into we know that d by dx of sin hx is cos hx so we write here cos h here x is x by 3 so we write here x by 3 into using chain rule we write d by dx of x by 3 okay that is equal to we write 6 into cos h x by 3 then d by dx of x by 3 is 1 by 3 that is we write here 3 cancel with 6 we get 2 2 into cos h x by 3 that is we get d by dx of 6 into sin h x by 3 equal to 2 into cos h x by 3 